Well, I must have been a good boy this week because this crawl space is one of the decent ones that I get into. Uh, fairly decent headspace, headroom. Um, fairly dry, vapor barrier, not too much junk down here, and sort of flat. Now, for just as an aside, for those of you taking Crawl Space 202, those little metallic things hanging down are the joist stiffeners. When they built the house, the carpenter, carpenter just did not nail those up like he should have. But that's not why I'm down here. Now, what you see in that PVC piping is the layout for a power crawl space ventilation system that exits on the far end of the house. This uh, crawl space has pretty good ventilation and the vents were all open except for one so they were working they just were not enough of them and I'm on the uphill corner of the house. Now can get this for the um, graduate history students who are who should be in class now but are not watching computers I'm going to go over this pretty slowly so you should be able to follow that's the flora and that's the fauna Now, that is a baby camel cricket, or humpback cricket, or mole cricket. And all the adults have had enough sense to jump out of here. But you, you get these little critters in your basement and in your crawl space when there's excess moisture. And that's exactly what happened at this house. As I said, I'm on the uphill corner, and the yard slopes to this part of the house with not any drainage away from the house. So everything from uphill just washes against this side of the house. And water entered this part of the house. It went right up against the um, block. And those are hollow block. The water gets inside the block and then runs. And it has run, and you can see the mud, the entire perimeter of the house, one way and the other. And what you're looking at is the footer trench that runs around the entire house. That block is sitting on a concrete footer, and that's what's left over. That's the footer trench. And it steps down toward the downhill side of the house. So what happens is the water runs the entire perimeter of the house and it pools down on the bottom side, the lowest side. So as, and, and the solution to this problem is better ventilation and smarter ventilation. So I'm putting a power ventilation system in and in just a minute I'm going to put a small tap three quarter inch right into that block cavity to make sure that block is dried out inside so whatever wash comes down say during a hurricane or a torrential rain will at least go into a dry medium instead of an already saturated medium now and then I'm going to add a sump pump for those times about once a year once every couple years when it just gets overwhelmed um, at least it'll dry it out quickly now there's another way to do this, supposedly, and it involves conditioning the space under the crawl space. And what they do is they, they run the plastic right up against the block, and they take it up the block, they block your ventilators, and what they're trying to do is get a good seal so they can basically condition the space down here either with cooler air or warmer air now 
this is very difficult. It's hard to do, and you can imagine because I've got to come over trenches. They have to come up piers. And those areas are pretty easy to get to. But it's it's got to be tight if that system works. And there's a big question in my mind if it works. For one reason, when um, if I can get my automatic focus going here, when the uh, when these block gets saturated, if I were to put a piece of plastic against that block, what do you think would happen to the moisture or the water that's in the block? It certainly would not evaporate to the inside here because the plastic would stop that. It might evaporate very slowly, very slowly to the outside, but that depends on the moisture content of the soil outside. So you're having that moisture sit there. And um, there's two ways mold and mildew grow, moisture and food. And every time it rains and water comes in, the water coming into the basement or the crawl space brings the food with it. The, the uh, nutrients just dissolve in the water and come in with the water. So the plastic is not keeping the food out. And to do one of those systems, you're, uh, last time I saw a price, it was like ten or $15,000 with results that are speculative at best. And it's my position. Well, let me put it this way. I have never run into a house with a mold and mildew problem in a crawl space where there's adequate ventilation, period. Absent. You know, if you if you have a lot of piers or uh, utilities that block off the airflow, then then that's a problem, and that's why we treat it with power ventilation. But with the proper ventilation, the house works fine. In another way, if it's built to code, you don't have a problem. So, in just a little bit, we're going to see another crawl space. It's a little worse than this. But it's your decision how you treat this, and um, it's uh, you're talking substantial money to do the plastic treatment, and it better be a crackerjack crew, um, or they just will not get a tight seal. And uh, so let me get to work here, and then we'll check out the other crawl space. Oh, so before we leave, that's my three-quarter inch penetration into the block, and that'll dry out the point where this water comes in. And I wanted to give you a little better look at this flora. And that is not the black mold that uh, we all worry about, but that's that's either a mold or a mildew. And if I'm very industrious, I'll do a Google search before I finish this. But if not, you can go on Google or one of the um, agricultural colleges and find out exactly what that is. But that is not the white staining that you see on brick or block from the calcium salts coming through. And lastly, we'll see what happens when I give this stuff a shot of my homemade brew here. My mill decide.
stuff is kind of potent, so I'm going to get out of here. But that's it. And this is crawl space number two. Headroom is a little bit better. And there's one of my little friends. And I, I, I expected to find them down here because that's the problem. Once again, that's the upper side of the house. And the water washes against that corner. And you can see it just comes right in through the block and runs all the way around the house. Now they have vents. They don't have enough and one or two are closed but even if those were open they would still have this problem and that's what's happening up there and that's a situation they know they have to do something about because if they don't they're just asking for major major trouble So, I mean, this is this is just on the verge of being serious. So, we'll put a power vent system in, and somebody has dug trenches in here because the water comes in so quick. I guess you can see it glistening off of there that pools so I'll find a low spot or I'll make a low spot and put a, a small pump in here it's not a sump pump because it won't be in a sump but it'll be a small electronic pump that'll, that'll just about pump water off of a tabletop and then the problem will be manageable